for you. My name is Elizabeth Phillips. I'm part of the arts integration course with um, Dr. Sutherland. And today we are going to be going over um, the solar system. And my victim for today's video is that. Clayton. Clayton. Oh, is that backwards? Yeah, it's, I think it's backwards. Um, but what we are going to do today, let me share my screen. is we are gonna make a solar system uh, based off of this image right here. And what the materials we're going to be using are um, a hanger, which we got, um, some thread, scissors, crayons, colored pencils, anything to color with, and then staples or glue. In this case, I have staples. Last time I did uh, glue sticks. So we are gonna start out with, if it'll let me pull this up, no. Maybe it's not letting me. There it is. We're going to start out with this Google slide right here, and we are going to work our way through it. And I'm focusing more on the um, art aspect of this lesson plan rather than the whole thing, just because this is arts integration. And Clayton is going to be my third grade victim. So he's going to act like a third grader. So That's forgive any of his uh, questions. Um, so, Clayton. Since you are the victim, you get to stare at the screen. Uh-huh. Okay. Our solar system is made up of the sun, eight planets, the moons, four satellites, four planets, comets, asteroids, and meteors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. No Pluto. <laughs> Pluto is not a planet. It's, it's there, a, though. It's a dwarf planet. It is a dwarf planet. It's still on there, It's a dwarf though. planet. Um, <laughs> so this is what our solar system looks like. Mm -hmm. Um, this planet right here specifically is the one that we live on. Um, and this is my moon. Um, and one phrase, one very easy phrase to help us remember that we're the planets is my very eager mother just served by Providence. So that would stand for Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. I've actually never heard of that. But the one that I always heard in school was my very ancient mother just served us. Same thing. Um, so this is our solar system with the planets in order. Let's see what it looks like. Um, That's a lot better on size, by the look of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, those moons are really all. They're not little, all a little they're close. Not all in straight lines. They're not all in a straight line like the other top of the planets. The planets in the solar system can be divided into two groups. So we have our inner planets and we have our outer planets. Um, and these groups of planets are divided by an asteroid belt. Um, which is just the giant belt across the solar system. Cooper belt? Huh? Cooper belt, I think. Um, I'm a nerd. <laughs> possibly. So, planets in relation to the sun. We have our sun. We have our inner planets that are closest to it. Um, our asteroid belt that separates our inner and our outer, and then our outer planets. Um, and then, just so that you get an idea, all the planets. Are in our solar system that go around the sun, they are not not anywhere near a straight line. So, like uh, here we are, or Saturn, all the way on the other side. They're Pluto, because it's not a planet all the way on the other side. Mm. Um, so, our inner planets, which are nearest to the sun, are small and rocky. So, we've got Mercury, which is the closest to the sun, um, half the size of the Earth's moon. We have Venus, which is about the same size as Earth and the hottest planet. Um, we have Earth. The only planet that has liquid water and supports complex life. You are really smiling really weird. I'm the one who told you the fact about uh, Venus being the hottest planet. Mm -hmm. Then we have Mars, which is called the red planet because of its iron oxide soil. Um, it's red. It also has two moons and it is the largest, it has the largest volcano in the solar system. Mm -hmm. um, our outer planets, which are the four planets farthest from the sun, are known as gas giants uh, because they're mostly composed of hydrogen and helium. Um, this planet is in Jupiter, which is the largest planet in our solar system. Um, it has a thin ring and 60 plus moons, which I didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have Saturn, which has wide and bright rings and about 60 moons. Also, I didn't know that one. Um, we have Uranus, which has about 27 moons and a faint ring, and then we have Neptune, which has about 13 moons and a faint ring. Um, and this is considered the windiest planet in the solar system. So here are our planets again. 
And what we are going to do real quick is we have a worksheet right here uh, pointing us to color it in based off of the images of these planets. Um, and then we are going to make our our final piece of art. So you get to look at this right here and you get to color them yeah. based off of the construction we did this morning. And that's how you go through your iPhone. Just remember you are a third grader. What? Hey, we do. <laughs> Can you open it? <laughs> Got it. I'm a third grader. I'm just just role playing, not at all on purpose. Doing that trick. Don't hand a third grader sharpies. Probably. Oh, the yellow so dim. I see the orange. I know, but the yellow is so dim. So we just have to be with that. Yeah. It's not really that effective. I'm sad. How many people are going to see this? I have no idea. Oh, no. Like little circles. Little circles. I'm gonna let you color that for a minute. Um, and just to go over my lesson while Clayton is doing that, where did I put my paper? My lesson paper right here. So typically, what I would do with this lesson plan, I have it all wrote out. I just don't want to focus on the whole entire thing. This is mainly um art focused as far as this assignment goes is i would um i have all my my whole lesson plan all wrote up um this is meant for third graders um longer lesson but still fun um and the objectives that students would be focusing on would be um, learning important information about the solar system and its planets um they'd be able to identify planets in the solar system and their placement placement from the sun, and then just some, um, they'll be able to identify some interesting facts about each planet, some characteristics and whatnot. Um, so the assignment would start out by the class discussing, discussing what the term solar means, what the solar system is. It'll go off of um, general ideas of what students already know and base the um, output of the lesson on what they do know and what they don't know. Um, then students would observe these slides, actually, um, they discuss the planets and their places. And upon completing the slideshow, there is a worksheet that I typically hand out that has like the planets, what their names are, their locations, sizes, appearances. Um, and then I have a short brain pop video, actually. Um, I'm sorry. I took your image away. I just needed Mercury. <laughs> But um, then I have a brain pop video that discusses the solar system um, that students can kind of look at. Um, and then after that, students will have a general idea of what the planets are, what their um, places placements are in the solar system. Um, they'll have a general idea of the what their different characteristics are, so what they look like, um, different temperatures, sizes, whether or not they're a gas giant or a rocky planet. Um, and then after students complete that project, which Clayton is working on right now, um, they pretty much complete a worksheet where they um, color and name the planets in order, um, if time allows to kind of get a very, very definite idea of what the planets are like and so on and so forth. Um, so like, by the end of this lesson plan, students will know the acronym, My Very Energetic Mother Just Surface Not Joes. And they'll be able to tell the difference between the inner and the outer planets and why the outer planets are the outer planets and why the inner planets are the inner planets. Um, so now we are gonna tune back in with Clayton, who is- Hi. Coloring his lesson plan. A little low on the Long time. Yeah. 
kind of our piece. And I'm just going to let it kind of sit on you for a minute. Sweet. I'm almost wishing I took the offer on the grants. You want grants? You still have them out. I already started. Earth. I want. Clay models Earth look like. Earth? <laughs> on what? Yeah, to make your clay skin. I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to figure out which green and blue I wanted, and then I thought I just blended in. You know, the bully me. Which yeah. doesn't. I'm a nerd. I like to do things more accurate than this any point in doing. I was expecting you to tell me that part green. I'm not that <laughs> bad. <laughs> I would have colored it like the land. It does look very fluid like, even though it's supposed to be land. You acknowledge that it's supposed to be land. This is. Oh, and it's like all wavy. I, I've never seen that. Ever. I'm not, look. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but. You don't sound like a bad player. What do you mean? That's a line from All Star by Smash Mouth. It's in Shrek. I'd probably just if I could until you got the color, but I don't have it. Uh, you just have to deal with it, and I will draw my pretty colors, and I am going fast as I can while also being surprisingly. Uh, yeah, I was trying to think of a word. The word no went to brain. Just wait until you get to Jupiter. That's where girls better get more stupider. <laughs> that was like fifth grade for me. Well, I don't have to come back then. Darn it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I knew. See, I want to say a joke. And Mars is my red planet. I'm gonna do yeah. something I know about. It has icy pulse, icy pulse. I just knock those everywhere when I do that. Mars has icy pulse. Frozen water. But it can't have liquid water. Because it ain't got no air, hardly. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jupiter's so big. Oh, no. He's fun. What? Mm -hmm. Actually, I do need red because the big red spot. You want to talk about the big red spot, Elizabeth? I'll get to it. Is it on there? I don't know. Oh, I'd be so excited. It was on my original uh, presentation slides. The big red spot. I so, tried to find something that would um, go a little bit easier. It's a storm that's been going on for a very, very long time. So now I don't need to get to it. Yes, you do. Just because one student knows it doesn't mean they all do. Yeah, but you're like in your 30. How dare you say such slander? That would make you. Uh, do they not have a thing? Right? You know, someone's gonna watch this and just wonder why you're bullying me. Like, unless you are you editing this out, or is someone gonna see you just being mean? Yeah, you're just being mean to the person. Try, just the third grader trying to draw planets, and you're just harassing. Well, that was your first mistake. I don't, I don't have such weaknesses. Saturn looks so plain. You look plain. Neptune is pretty. I'm adding a little bit extra color to the rings as my nose. Mm -hmm. 
Elon Musk, instead of trying to do all this terraforming at Mars, just make color bombs for all the planets to make them more colorful. Mm. What? It's just a shame. It's like we have. I mean, I'll give credit to your ransom death to please. Okay. Clayton has officially finished his solar system. He's very proud of it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out all the planets. Where's the sharp off? Where are you hiding? I found it. Oh, oh. that's on this spot. You can see the scissors. I don't have safety scissors and you're not actually a dark grader, so feel free to have some dark grader and see with them. I mean, I've never really, I don't know of any ways to be immature as scissors. I do know how to like accidentally cut my finger open with them. I'm not sure. Well, the light's just kind of messing with. Oh, it's, like, it's still good. You need safety. <laughs> So, we will cut in circles. How hard is she to cut? Mm -hmm. What's a harder shape, Elizabeth? The star. No, you just go around it. Now, if you had a bunch of stars on one paper, nah. Like cutting, actually, I would say cutting something from like inside a paper where you can't cut the edges. So like a hollow square, mm -hmm. that's that. No, okay. If cats ruin my planets, I will send them to whatever planet they ruined. Hey, I will send you to Venus because that's what you were attacking. <laughs> No. I'm just trying to do my art. The cat's bullying me. No. Be traumatized. I'm sorry. I know you're okay with it. I said I'm sorry to the camera. Whatever poor professor or TA watches it, it's just going to be like, what the heck? Get away from my planets, cat. No. Mm -hmm. She's gone. She ran all the way to the kitchen. My planets. I actually spent way too much time. Then you pause the recording in the middle of me talking. Huh? Huh? Did I? Yes. No, I didn't. No, I think I did. Do you remember what planet is what? What planet is what? what you call it? Yeah. I can tell them by the thing because it's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Earth. Jupiter. Yes, that's not Earth. That's fucking freaking Neptune. <laughs> okay, I got a little ahead of myself. It's still right here. Ah, I use bad language. This is why I said what I said. I use bad language. The last time I did this lesson, I had everybody write names on the back of the planet that I could see. Oh, you didn't tell me that advice. Are you sure about that? Yeah, but I did just have a moment where I mixed them up for a second. And then I looked down. Yes, all the time. What is happening in there? I don't know what that noise is, but it's making me laugh. Oh, that would be it. Oh. My second to last planet in the solar system, even though it should be third to last for Pluto. It was the only rocky, even though it was really just ball ice, rocky planet after the actual. Oh, it didn't. It's still there. 
it's just not considered a crime. Right? Yeah, it didn't disappear. It's still right there. So the door came ah. Okay. So now what we are going to do is you can remember what one X was. I probably can. We are going to get our hangers. We have how many lots of X that we need to put on it? Nine. Nine. So we need to get our thread and then we tie it on to nine different sections of that bottom part of the hanger. Oh, this is going to be a struggle. Again, you can make it a longer short amount. Here, I'll do one if you want to pause it because it might take me far longer than I want to admit. Okay. Take it, put it around one corner, hopefully. Here. I know it's just so thin. I'm gonna double knot it so I don't want to fall off. Now I'm going to show his side. Clayton now has his nine strings. You can't really see them too well, but they are there. Now he is going to get each planet. He is going to get a stapler. And um, he is going to staple them onto each string, starting with the side. How do I, how do I hold this? So back of it, mm -hmm. and then I, yeah. Yep. And now the first planet is. Wow, oh, that didn't work. Okay, you might get some mistakes. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Let me try with it. I stable <laughs> this one. I could tie it around the stable. That works. Seems unnecessarily difficult. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Aha! So now our first planet after the sun. It's not, a, yeah, I was say this isn't a planet. Our first planet after the sun. Yeah. If we are divided into the Mercury. Mercury. Also the name of a chemical element. And like, obviously, one of the gods or goddesses, or whatever. I think mean, Mercury is male. I know Mars is. And then after Mercury, it is Venus, which is also like deliberately all of its landmarks are named after Venus. Did you know that, Elizabeth? I did not know that. Yes. It's also like where the female symbol comes from. Oh. Yeah. Mars is the male and Venus is the female. <laughs> There's a few of them. Uh, and after Venus, it is Earth. You know why I say that, right? Huh. It's Will Smith. I had to make sure you grabbed the right earth. It is Earth. You grabbed um, Neptune. Neptune last night. That's because I wasn't looking and because I colored them slightly you, similarly. You sounded so enthusiastic and just. I was, I was so like ready to trash talk and just dunked on myself. Yes. Earth. After Earth, it is Mars, who has the tallest mountain. Is it, is it also a volcano? I just knew it was tallest. Yeah, mountain. there's a bunch of volcanoes that are just on Mars. I guess it would be considered a dormant volcano. Yeah. Olympus Mons, by the way. Yeah. Huh. Come on. So hard to tie. Such fat fingers. You just don't know what's left when you get a stick. After Mars, it is Jupiter. <laughs> it has the oldest known storm in the solar system and the largest moon, I think. Titans and Jupiter, right? Mm -hmm. Titans is very big, <laughs> like significantly bigger than Mercury, big.
don't remember which one has Io. It's Jupiter or Saturn. Io is my favorite moon. Really? Yeah, it's very pretty. Ironically, I don't remember which planet has it, but it's very volcanic. Huh. I did a drawing. It's in my drawing. Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter it is. Saturn, known for its colorful rings. Make sure I tie it on the right string. Everybody knows Saturn. It's got the rings. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes the rings. What about Uranus? It has rings, but they're like, you can barely see them in a telescope compared to Saturn's. Is like, you can see Saturn really well. Mm -hmm. And Uranus is like, it's there. It's trying. It's trying its best. Also, the new scientific name is Uranus because obviously anyone, adult or child, should not be trusted to say Uranus without chuckling. Okay. My whole childhood was spent cracking jokes about that one thing. That's literally why they want to call it Uranus, just because of how hilarious the name is on its own. And last, but not last, is Neptune, because for some reason Pluto's not counted. Uh. <laughs> what? I know you didn't. It's not your fault. It's the entire scientific community's fault. I believe Neptune is the one that rains liquid methane, which is just terrifying to think about. Okay, hold it up. Whoa! Let's pour one off. Yeah, that it's too windy in here. Solar system. No, it's all tangled. And that is my lesson plan. Whoa.